Hi guys, um, um, I'm doing a periodic inspection at the moment, and well, just for today. And I thought it'd be a good idea to do some of the recording of the tests just to help with the um, the outcome five video for the two three nine one mini series. But it's not going to work because this um, inspection, this inspection is an absolute shithole. Um, <clears throat> I've got here. I'm in a community centre, and there's a TT supply in this tube up here coming down so overhead cable outside and it's coming down here through the cut out through the single phase meter into an RCD which is not time delayed or anything just a 30 million pass CD or RCCB up through this um, earth fault protection unit, which basically means a big freaking switch, which isolates just the line conductor, the neutral is in that link there, and through the neutral and the line is this coil, which will disconnect at 300 milliamps. So it's just like a 300 milliamp R C D. So you have a 30 milliamp R C D then supplying a 300 milliamp RCD, so there's discrimination for you. And you've got up in the board a load of old 3A71s, not a problem, and some 49.3 RCBOs, which again, 30 milliamp, but there's no discrimination with that one down there. So there's no discrimination in any of these RCDs at all. Now the other big problem is Earth. I haven't got one. There's no electro coming in at this point. There's no electro that I can see in the perimeter of the building. When I go into the actual board, the conductors that are marked as main earth, there's one there, there's another one over in this bar, they go down here to this, they go into this unit, where they are bolted in the bottom. And there's no actual other earthing conductor here. It's as if this RCD concoction is an earth supply. So I have no supply earth, all I have is reliance on parallel earth providing loop impedances. I've measured the earth fault loop and I've got um, 12 ohm. I have a gas main to a gas meter over there. I have another gas main to another gas meter in an adjacent part of the building. There's also a, ga um, a water bond, although the supply service is plastic, I'll just show you that now, hang on. Water bond in this tube here goes down onto this pipe work, which through here in this cupboard. You can see it's a plastic service, so I can't even consider the actual utility water company's water pipe as an electrode, because it's not. So, I've now got to decide what to do. This is where looking at the previous records can be helpful, because it can kind of give you an understanding of what they discovered. Um, they've discovered, it's a 30 milliamp RCD main switch, good. They've done a nice line drawing. Yes, it's a TT system. They had 43 ohms, interestingly, so maybe I need to disconnect these parallels and see if I can actually get anything near that. But they say that the TT system goes to the cutout. There's the cutout. There is no electrode in this, in this position at all. So there's no earthing conductor in here. The previous test results are a little bit vague saying that when I actually look at the board it does tell me the wonderful electrician prior 10 yearly bloody hell only tested three circuits what's the point of that what is the point of that right so what options have I got well I'll give it a test anyway I have to do all my tests on low current because these RCDs are in the way. But um, 
I'll disconnect the main bonding. There's no one in this building. I've got the keys and stuff, so I ain't got to worry about that. I can isolate the system, although it'll be dark in here. But um, basically, I'll disconnect the main protective bonding, and I expect that this um, this loop value that they're going to get will probably be from the parallels. I've got a wiring system of trunking and conduit and MI. Parts of the building are steel, so it's probably going to pick up parallels through that way. I'll try and remove as many of those as I can until I find an actual source of earth, but I have a feeling that I'm not going to find one. Uh, but what we will do is we'll measure the loop now and we'll look at the difference with the PEFC and the PSCC because that is important to actually pick up at this point. So let's do that. All right, so we'll keep it simple for the sake of sanity. Um, this intermediate barrier doesn't really do much. Fredo chocolate rubber would do better. All right, we'll set the tester up, turn her off. Turn her on again, wake her up. Get the leads in the right place. Okay, so I'll do another video later on where we actually do the poly check. All right, I'm um, going to do two lead low. I'm going to try to hold that on. I'm going to apply the earth onto the earth there. I'm going to hold that. It's got the earth on there. It's got on the line. Lead low current test, say forever. All right, 12 ohms. Okay, yeah, so we've got 12 ohms. That's, um, I mean, uh, well, you know, we've got parallels, it is what it is. This is the thing I want to look at now the 90 amps. So, this is the perspective, perspective earth fault current test. Now we need to measure the PFC at dB. We need to make sure we verify the highest of the PEFC and the PSCC. So this is the earth fault current, but we need to verify the short circuit current. So swap this over. We'll go boom. All right, it should now go on the high current. That's fine. This is gonna be a test between the line and the neutral, which will go through of equal current measure those RCDs, won't trip them. Now, seeing as I'm not going to now, now going to be actually worried about the electrode path, or whatever electrode there is, I'm going to be using the conductor's resistance. So this value should be a lot lower than 12 ohms, and will be a lot higher than 20 amp, in theory. Okay, 0.33 and 700. So this is the important number here. This is the perspective short circuit current and is now the perspective fault current. And I need to make sure all the protected devices that we have in here, M6, M6, yeah. These are all 6K, so these are fine. 700 amp is my maximum. All these are 10K and 6K. We know that 700 amp is fine. Um, but I couldn't go with the earth fault current of 20 amp. I had to measure the perspective short circuit current at 700 amp for that. But I know that that's okay. The supply conductors are of good, good value. It's just the earth I've got to find a solution for. And I think the solution is just to give this an unsatisfactory. Oh my God. Nice. 